Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Lafix. Got another video for you today. Got another MacBook, always. It's always fun to have one of these in. Got one of these big boys in. It's a 16 inch, ooh, it's pretty dirty on the side too. 16 inch MacBook Pro, and especially if it's dirty, you probably guessed it, yep, it's liquid spill repair. So this one, actually, there were, uh, was some hairspray that got on uh, the MacBook itself there. Now it's not powering on. Who would have guessed, you're right? All right, that's why we're here. So let's take a look at it, see if there's anything obvious. Anything obvious damage? Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, you could you could really smell it because it smells like a hairspray. So, kind of made me <laughs> a little bit dizzy at the, at, the, at one point. Um, I was just taking a look at it for the first time too, but ooh, man, it's still getting get pretty strong. Man, wonder what type of hairspray that is. Not in a good way too. Kind of makes you a little bit dizzy, a little bit sick, nauseous. It's a little bit too much. You know, this, whenever someone sprays like too much cologne. Too much of one smell usually isn't good unless you're in the fresh air. Please go outside and touch some grass too. So we have this here. Let's see. I don't see any type of uh, liquid spill, obviously right now. But probably if we open it, and probably go to the other side. There's probably going to be something pretty obvious there. Let's see what we're getting. Um, let's use check our volts, just especially if we undo the battery and uh, we want to see if there's any changes in that, right? Or if we disconnect a few things, we'll see what's going on. So let me plug it in. So if I go over here, plug it in. Let's uh, let's start again. That's probably be a little bit better, huh? So let's uh, plug it in because the voltmeter can tell you a lot of things about it. What's going on, especially without taking a quick look. So you see here. Oh, you can't just can't see. You get 20 volts. And you see the ampage is going up. So 0 0.27, 0 0.3. Now back down to 0 0.27, 0 0.1. Now it dropped all the way about 0 0.01, right? So there is something going on there and it kind of staying there. Most likely there's some type of short. Um, most likely a power issue, obviously, is liquid spill. It's probably corrosion somewhere. Uh, we can go ahead and at least take a look. That's why it goes up and then goes down. Uh, again, it's great to have one of those tools like we have here because that could help tell a lot of things. Now, if we see it go on or it turns on, it turns on, that's one thing. But to see it go up and down, but the ambush usually means there's some type of short, right? So let's take a look at it. I'm going to open up the board. There has to be probably some corrosion, some liquid damage. That's very easy to see, easy to spot. I'm probably probably that's correct right it's probably what's going to happen so let's go ahead and open it and we'll be right back took this out it does look very clean i don't really see i notice anything particular there here's the board here's the back of it um before we go under the microscope let's check take a look at it uh we just get one of our connectors out which we have on here and just see if the behavior has changed at all because we disconnect absolutely everything from it, especially the battery we want to see the behavior has changed so take a look See what it shows. So we got five above five volts. Oops, and then it goes back to 20. Point six eight. Let's see, comes back up, and then it goes back down. Now we're stuck about 0 0.01 amps. So um, let's do one more thing. Let's just look under the microscope, see if we see any type of damage, anything that's very obvious, and we go from there. Okay, not sure what that is. Just take a look. This area looks pretty clean. Just doing a visual inspection. See so if there's anything obvious, any type of corrosion. We have power areas. Okay, board looks really clean. Don't see anything obvious because it's nice through a visual inspection. Okay, so we see that there's no obvious liquid damage or anything else going on there. We always like to do visual inspection because if we see liquid damage, right, or if we think that the customer has liquid damage or they told us there's probably something we'd probably see it right it'd be very easy to spot that you see the crime scene because the crime screen usually green or blue or a mix of both and this these instances or could be accompanied with a burn or something so we didn't see anything obvious there there's no obvious damage there now uh, what can happen a lot in these type of situations especially if you see something like this in these type of symptoms these type of symptoms especially if it's hanging around there there could be a problem there could be a corruption with uh, the security chip on there which is called the t2 chip and anytime there's a corruption with that, usually you need to reload the firmware. Because these things on, on how the MacBooks communicate, they have a security chip built into there. And for it to power on, um, especially if there's like hardware changes or anything else going on, right? It needs to check everything before it powers on and it gives you that Apple logo. And before it does that, it needs to go through lots of different steps. And this is part of them. So sometimes if this gets damaged, we would need to reload uh, that type of firmware on there. Now, by the gracious goodness of everything that is good and everything that is Apple, we do have a solution for this. 
even though it's not the perfect solution and, and it's not, um, even though it's not the perfect solution, it still does work. We see it work sometimes. I actually made a video on it previously there. And it's called DFU mode. And it's going to be doing exactly that. Not that type of that, but it's going to be doing what you want it to do, right? Is to reload the firmware. And we're going to be attempting to do that. Now, there's a few steps. Uh, we made a video on this before, but this one's interesting because there's no damage, nothing else that we did. We actually did work on it before. Usually there was damage from a liquid spill or something that causes this to happen, and now you're just kind of stuck in this loop. So, and again, because everything's soldered to the board here, everything's all one piece, right? It's a one, one piece to unify it all. So if there's any problem, you can always give a, another problem too. So we're going to put it back enough, at least so we can get it to, to come up, or at least, or at least connect everything back together so we can at least uh, allow our DFU mode to come up. So I'm going to put it back, and then we'll go into the process of doing the firmware restore. All right, so we have the Apple configurator open on our Mac, and we need to connect it. Right. You can get this from the App Store. It's actually just an app that you download. Now you need a USB-C uh, cable here. And the most important thing for USB-C is you want like a Thunderbolt cable. Um, that's going to be giving you, uh, that's the most important thing is not just a USB-C cable, you want a Thunderbolt cable. And what we want to do is we want to plug it in a certain port here. On ours, this is a 81932. We want to plug it in the master port, which the master port is this one. It's the second one's on the bottom. See that? Ooh. Yeah, and now we want to plug this into our the Mac. Uh, let me change the camera angle so you guys can see that. Okay, so we have this one, right? This has our Apple configurator. And we have our other one here. Now, on this model, this is A2141. So it's our 2019. I think I said earlier in the video, it's like a 2018, but it's 2019. Um, we want to plug this in as well on the bottom port here, which is the port that's closest to uh, the trackpad. All right, I don't have this way all, all, all the way. So let's plug it in here. I want to plug in, because I don't know if this thing has juice or not. I want to make sure I plug in uh, my connection here. Make sure it's going to be charging or something, right? So watch this screen when I hold this down and see. We'll see if it actually changes. We'll go zoom in a little bit there. I know it's not the best angle. How about, what if I put this flat for you guys? Think, would that make it better? Yeah, this would be better. All right, so let's go power button, right shift, left option, and left control. Hold it down for a few seconds and see if it makes any difference. Sometimes you have to do it. It might take some time or something. Let me press the power button. All right, you see that? And this came up, see in the screen? And uh, it's all tangled, it doesn't look too great. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to do this. I wanna show all this one. Okay, so this came up. And I just wanna right click it here. This one, this is more interesting now. So we'll go over here. Um, let me bring this up. So we're in the DFU mode. And we have options. So we wanna right click it or double tap. And we want to go to, um, there's two modes you can go. You can go restore is the last case you want to do. Restore or wipe all the data, so we don't want to do that. Let's go to advanced. Let's go to revive device. And it's going to communicate with the computer. It's going to go through the stages. And if it's successful, we should get Apple logo here. That should come up. So let's, let's zoom out again. Whoops. Oh, this is so sloppy here. There's so many cables. Let's put this over here. And it says it's just reviving device installing system. <laughs> Let's see. We should see a logo. Let's wait for it to be done. In the meantime, I'm going to clean this. I'll wait for it. I'll fast forward if I have to because it's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, I do see actually the, the, the logo came up for a second there. I'm not sure if it's going to come up again. It did come up. The ambush is going nuts on here. And see, this actually came up. 19 volts, 2. Right? Oh, look at that. You heard that? Oh. You see, the logo came and then it died all of a sudden. You know, I've actually seen this before. 
I'm curious if I just do this right now. I'll do something like that. Aha! You see that? Actually, I've seen this before because one of our last videos, um, it came in. So this looks like it's part of like a network or something. Um, I also, in the meantime, if you don't know what I did, I see the fans are spinning. I disconnect this. This is the um, open and close uh, sensor, or well, sleep and wake sensor. It's probably a better way. I just disconnected that as I was doing it, and you saw the backlight did come on. You know what's funny? Actually, taking a look at it, if I look really closely, if, let's bring this up here. You see this? This area looks to be a bit corroded on the top. I'm going to go remove the screw. Let's go to the microscope with it. Okay, so we see, you can see this. This is corroded here. Um, so there was obviously liquid spill, and it did cause this problem. It did corrupt that little T2 area. Okay, so here it is. This is very corroded, if you can tell. Um, for something like this, we can probably just do a replacement because... Obviously, you can see the caps. Everything looks pretty, pretty bad in there. The screw's still in there. See that? We would definitely want to do a replacement for that chip because, obviously, it's a cable. You don't want to just do that. So we'll get a replacement for that. It won't be a problem. But, yeah, other than that, it looks like the repair will be completed. You can see that there was actually a little bit of corrosion, most likely that, that did cause uh, the issue for it as well. Um, so... Hope you guys are watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Bye.